Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio here along with Mr. Moose to answer a common and honestly slightly creepy question I've been getting on a lot of my other Zoom tutorials. Can someone tell if they've been pinned in Zoom? Based on the comments, I think I am mostly getting this question from students who want to pin somebody other than their teacher, like a friend or someone they have a crush on when taking online classes. So again, there's my plea to students to please pay attention to your class. Your teacher is trying their best despite the difficulties of online learning. But I wanted to answer the question anyway, since a lot of people have been asking it. So the very short answer is someone does not know if they've been pinned, but they do get a notification if they've been spotlighted. To demonstrate that, I'm logged into the meeting on a third computer here with the camera off, and I'm going to use that to pin the version that I'm logged in on this computer with. So I'm going to right click, select pin, and you will see on the computer where I'm recording, I did not get any notification or indication that somebody else had pinned me in the meeting, even though I'm now pinned on the laptop's view. However, I will get a notification if I get spotlighted because that spotlights the video for everyone. So again, I'm going to go down to the laptop, right click and select spotlight video for everyone. And now on this computer, I get a little pop-up message that says the host has spotlighted your video for everyone. So students who are not typically hosts or co-hosts in a meeting aren't going to have that privilege anyway. So students are usually going to be pinning other people so technically there's no way for the other participants or the teacher to track who individual students have pinned. However, as a teacher, if you want to prevent your students from pinning each other, you can do that. So if nobody is spotlighted, I've removed the spotlight on myself. You'll see that as a regular participant here, I have the option to right click on somebody else or myself and select pin. But if I spotlight a video with the host computer, which I'm going to do again, now, as a participant, that option has disappeared for me. So if I right-click on Mr. Moose, I no longer have a pin button. I don't have that option for myself either. So if you're a teacher and you want to make sure your students are looking at you and not pinning their friends, make sure you use the Spotlight Video feature. That's it for this pretty quick video. I have a lot of other tutorials about teaching and learning online with Zoom. You can find a link to a playlist of those videos in the description below this video or in one of the boxes somewhere here on the end screen. As always, if you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, please leave a comment below this video. Thank you.